Welcome to the St. Louis County Prescription Drug Monitoring Program PDMP Registration Tutorial. To register and access the PDMP, please visit missouri.pmpaware.net. At the PDMP website, you will be able to create an account or log in if you already have one. Click on Create an Account in the bottom corner. The email address you enter will be used as your login ID and as the primary email address for your account. Passwords require a minimum of eight characters and must include one uppercase, one lowercase, and one symbol. When you are finished, click Save and Continue to create your account credentials and move on to Role Selection. Here you will need to select the appropriate role. They are categorized into healthcare professional, law enforcement, or other. Each role has different requirements, functionalities, and access, ranging from full access for those providing patient care to restricted and limited access to those in licensing, regulatory, and law enforcement roles. If you have any questions about role selection, please contact the St. Louis County Department of Public Health at 314-615-0522. To expand the role options, click the category name and expand. Here you see the law enforcement role and the other roles. Please select only one role. For the purpose of this tutorial, the registration process for physicians will be demonstrated. Expand the section, select physician, and then scroll down to the bottom to save and continue. On the next page, you will see a message in a green box that says a link to verify your email address has been sent. On this page, you will now provide your personal and employer information. Required fields are marked with a red asterisk. The first box asks for your DEA number. If you have multiple DEA numbers, all of them can be provided at this time. Please submit your DEA number your NPI or National Provider ID, your State Professional License Number and License Type, your First Name, Last Name, and Date of Birth. After you submit your date of birth, you will be asked to add a healthcare specialty. In this box, you can search by keyword or open and expand the box and scroll to the healthcare specialty of your choice. After you select a healthcare specialty, you will then provide your primary contact phone. This completes your personal section. Please scroll down to the employer contact information and fill out all of the required fields. In this section, you will provide the name of your employer, the address of your employer, city, state, and zip code. If your employer also has an MPI or national provider ID, you may also enter that information at this time. After completing the employer information, please scroll down to submit your registration account. You will again receive an additional email informing you of the completion of your registration. On the next page, you will now be prompted to upload validation documentation. Required documentation varies by user type. If you do not have validation documentation at the time of initial registration, you may upload at a later time. Your account will not be approved until documentation is submitted. Healthcare providers are required to upload a copy of their professional license. Law enforcement and licensing or regulatory board users are required to upload a copy of their employer issued ID. In the middle of the screen, you will see a PDF link that links you to a letter informing you of validation requirements. The bottom, under your user type, select Add File, open your files, and upload your license. You are then done with your registration. Your account is now pending approval 
from the St. Louis County PDMP Administrator. Delegate accounts must be approved by the supervisory provider before the St. Louis County PDMP Administrator will approve the account. Supervisory providers must also be registered with the PDMP to approve delegates. Account approvals will begin on April 4, 2017. The PDMP will be fully operational on April 25, 2017. Once you have received your email, you may open it and go to the second line where the link says to verify your email. Once you click on that button, you will be directed back to the PDMP login screen with a message that says, your email has been verified. This email verification and approval completes email verification for the PDMP.